Today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade RAM on an iMac. <laughs> it's a great day to learn an affordable way to upgrade your Apple computer. Hey, but first take a moment and subscribe to our channel for more weekly how-to videos on everything from phones and computers to apps and smart home paraphernalia. So look, if you're buying a new iMac from Apple and you wanna upgrade the RAM, it's gonna cost you a lot. For example, if you wanna upgrade RAM on a new iMac from eight gigabytes to 32 gigabytes on Apple's website, it will cost you $600. Ooh, that's a lot of money. But there are third-party websites like uh, Other World Computing, also known as OWC, and Crucial that can sell you the same amount of RAM for about $150. That's $450 worth of savings. Even if you aren't buying a brand new iMac and you just want to add RAM to your old existing iMac like this guy here, well, it's going to give it that extra multitasking juice to handle all the tabs in Chrome. Okay, so this is how it works. There are two sizes of iMacs, a 27 inch model like this guy or a smaller 21 inch model. The 27 inch model on the back behind the stand has an easy access door that lets you add RAM or take RAM out. Pretty simple. All right, so let's say you have an iMac that you bought before 2011 and it's either 21 inch or 27 inch, there's actually an easy access port in the speaker grill on the bottom of the computer. However, this is where some of you guys are gonna get sad here. If you have a 21 inch iMac made after 2011, well, there's no easy access door and the only way to get into the RAM compartment is to basically take the entire computer apart, which you can do, but we're not gonna do in this video. Before we can install the RAM, we gotta figure out a couple things. The first thing is what year your iMac came out, and the second is what the model number of your iMac is. To find the model number, go back to the main About This Mac tab, and I can go to the System Report button, and from there, I can see my model identifier is iMac 14 comma two. Now that you're on with this knowledge, you can find a third-party website to buy your RAM. I highly recommend the website OWC, or Crucial, those are the two I always go to. The prices between the two do fluctuate, but they're very competitive. Full disclosure for this video, Crucial did supply us with the RAM. Oh, by the way, if you aren't sure exactly the maximum amount of RAM your iMac supports, I've linked to an Apple support page in the description. Once you have your RAM and are ready to install it, the first thing you need to do is shut down your computer. You wanna give it time to cool off. I recommend about 10 minutes, which is just enough time to watch the 1978 live performance of the song Station to Station by David Bowie. It was written in one of Bowie's darker periods of life right after he had moved to Los Angeles. What, the iMac is cooled down? Well, what about this one? Oh, that's a different one? Next, disconnect the power cord and any other cables connected to your iMac. Place a soft, clean towel on a flat surface to prevent scratching the screen. And then lay the computer down slowly on the towel, holding it by the sides. Find a small gray button in the power port and press it in to open up the memory compartment door. I used a spudger tool to get a little more purchase. The button actually raises the edge of the door, so keep it pressed in until you can actually remove the compartment door and then set it off to the side. On the inside of the door, you'll see a diagram of how the RAM pop-up mechanism works and which way the RAM fits in. Uh, locate the two levers on the right and left side and push them outward to release the memory. Then pull the memory cage levers toward you to lift the cage out of the computer a little bit more. If you're removing existing RAM from your iMac, pull the module straight up and out. And also take a moment to note the location of the notch on the bottom of the RAM module. So that way you can orient the new one correctly. Pro tip! Depending on which iMac model you have, the notch on the bottom of the RAM module will either need to go to the right or the left. Or there's actually a diagram on that door that you took off to get into the RAM compartment. Pro tip. After you get the RAM facing the correct way, you're gonna set it down into the slot, press firmly until you feel and hear it click into the slot. Once all of your RAM is installed, put the back door on, stand your iMac upright and plug it back in. Next, you're gonna turn the computer on, go to the Apple menu, click on About This Mac, and look at the memory line or the memory tab to make sure your new RAM shows up. So let's talk a couple troubleshooting points. So 
Depending on how old your iMac is, you might hear a tone when you first restart it after installing RAM. If your iMac is from before 2017, you might hear a beep that repeats every five seconds. And if you hear that sound, well, not all is horrible. It just means that your computer is not, well, it can't find the RAM. So the easiest thing to do is shut it down, unplug it, and reseat those RAM modules and make sure you hear and feel that click sound. Now, if you hear three successive beeps spaced five seconds apart, well, that means your RAM didn't pass a data integrity test. And by the way, who writes these alert sounds? Beethoven? Okay, but here's a couple things you can do. First is just double check that the RAM you bought is the correct RAM for your iMac. And if it is, then you're gonna wanna turn the computer off and just reseat that RAM. Just make sure that it's in there nice and good. And if that doesn't work, well, it's time to go to the Genius Bar. Hopefully your RAM installation was a breeze. And if you have any tips you'd like to share, throw them in the comments. I would really appreciate that. By the way, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. All right, staring contest, you and me, Ram. Oh, with his eyes. Oh. Oh, you always win, Ram. Oh, I hate you, but damn it.